in this video I'll show you how to fix those small holes in uh, this drywall using DAP dry decks spackling. It's very easy and it can be done in just a few minutes so let's get started. You'll need some sandpaper here I have a 220 grid but this is not important really if you have some sandpaper laying around your house just take it it will work it will do the job. I have a sanding block here so I can put the paper so it's easier but again you don't need a sanding block to do this it just helps if you have one. You'll need a putty knife could be plastic or metal if you don't have one and have a used um, credit card that you don't need you can also use it I've seen some people doing it and obviously you'll need DAP dry deck spackling. Make sure you read all the warnings and stuff that is written on it. I will demonstrate how to use it, but you know, it's always good to read it by yourself too. First step is to remove everything that sticks out with the sandpaper. Okay, so it will be a flat surface to work with. All you have to do is to sand it. You don't need to press very hard. I'm not putting any pressure on it. And you can feel it with your fingers if uh, there's something sticking out after the video. Okay, now it seems much better. You see, there's nothing sticking out. It's all flat to the touch. Take a rag and wipe everything down because we need a clean surface before applying the speckling. Take some of the speckling using your putty knife. Just dip it inside. And uh, since we only have two small holes to fill, we really don't need a lot. Uh, this is more than enough to do the job. Now to apply it, it's very easy. All you have to do is to try to fill the holes completely. Okay, so here we go. And don't worry if it spreads out a lot around. This is normal. You you can even press more on the putty knife to remove the excess, but we'll sand it down anyway at the end, so it's not important for now. Now just concentrate and make sure that the holes here are filled. So apply some more and press it inside. Make sure it goes all in and remove the excess. And you'll have to repeat this a few times. Just for the sake of this video, I will accelerate this part. At the end, it should look like this. It's not important if it's flat because, again, we'll sand it at the second step. Okay, so you'll have marks going on and, uh, yeah, just leave it like this. The putty should turn from pink to white when it's fully dried. After about three or four hours, in my case, it turned white, which means that it is fully dried. But as you can see, it's rough, so we're gonna have to sand it down. I'll take the same sandpaper here, and I will just start sanding the whole thing by doing some circles. And then I'll have to smooth the edges so it blends well with the rest of the wall. And I think I'm done. Uh, you just have to pass your finger over where the holes were and at the edge of the spackling. And if you don't feel anything and it's completely flat, this is perfect because now you'll just need to paint it over and we won't see the difference compared to the other section of the wall. So thanks for watching. 